Hey, hello everyone. This is Coach Chris from AccuTrader.net coming at you with a final recap of trading on Friday, August, what would that have been? I believe it was the 16th, August 16th, 2024. What you're looking at here is a five minute chart of the MNQ micro NASDAQ futures index with the contract expiring in September of 2024. It was a much better day for us on Friday. We, uh, we had a couple of really nice trades. Um, the trades ranged anywhere from 40 points up to uh, 170 plus points, depending on uh, when you would have entered the trades and, uh, and when you wanted to take profits. So uh, I look at that as a good day, three really good tra trades. Two of the trades, we had absolutely zero drawdown, which is also nice. Gives you a little comfort level. You know, you're not under any stress. The uh, other trade here at the at the market open or a little, about a half hour after market open, we did have some drawdown. We did, not, we did not get stopped out, but depending on where you entered, we had a really big entry candle, but I'll get into that in a minute. So uh, also, I want to thank everybody who's purchased the AccuTrader.net system. I am going to be implementing a price increase in two days on August 20th. So if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, I suggest you purchase it now because there will be a price increase. I've got a lot of cool things coming up also that you want to look forward to. So keep that in the back of your mind as well. So I have, as I said, this is a five minute chart of the MNQ. I have my AccuTrader uh, system up, consists of several indicators. The primary one being here on the screen with the cloud, our baseline, and then these uh, red and green squares with the arrows in the middle, which are our actual indicator uh, or entry signals. So our first entry, and this was this turned out to be the biggest trade of the day. I mean, it was an absolute monster. I mean, if you look at uh, 170 point trades, they they are are very very hard to come by. And here again, there was no drawdown at all. So this this trade triggered pre market at 4:50 a.m. Now I know a lot of you probably aren't up then. I'm usually not up then trading. But we've been seeing quite a bit of volatility pre-market and conditions actually have been pretty decent uh, early morning, an hour to two hours to three hours before the market opened. The other factor that I think came into play on Friday was we weren't looking at any major news announcements like we had been the rest of the week. Every day it seemed like it, except for Monday at 7.30 we had some kind of a, of a huge uh news news announcement that we had to be careful of. Also, I think with uh, the market was kind of a little exhausted and overbought. We had um, seen some really huge moves to the upside. Um, and so I think the market was maybe a little ready to take a little bit of a break. But here again, we did not maintain any bias whatsoever. You can never have a bias. You can only observe what the market is doing and then react accordingly. And uh, for newer traders, this indicator gives them some tools for peace of mind to know uh, when and when not to enter trades. And when they do get into a trade, they can feel a little bit more comfortable that they probably are going to uh, not get crushed. So as I said, the initial trade was at 4.50 this morning. We got triggered into a short. And let me just get my to trade tool up. This is for a long. I want to switch that to a short position. And I'm going to put it off to the left so it's not in our way. This was our entry candle right here. I'm going to assume that uh, we got in at the worst possible entry, okay, just for the sake of, um, of uh, being realistic. Because remember, we're never ever going to get in at exactly the right time and we're never going to get out at exactly the right time. It's just a fact of life. We get what we get and we don't throw a fit, right? We accept it. We accept it. We put the, the trade on. We uh, set our loss risks and we let the, let the trade play out. 
The market's going to market. It's going to do what it wants to do. Hopefully, if we are patient and set our parameters accordingly, we will be fine. We won't, uh, we won't be in any trouble. So the entry requirements, remember, are we set our stop loss at the edge of this cloud or 50 points, whichever is less, I mean, whichever is more. And in this case, since we are pre-market, I would just go ahead and set the stop loss here at the edge of the um, cloud at that area. And in this case, it was 25 points. I mean, we never, it looks like this candle may have pulled back a few points, but it never came anywhere near threatening anything. And so it nice ladder-like climb down. I'm just going to move this off to the side over here. So what? Uh, let me just move it over here temporarily. We don't need it right at the moment. It marched right down here. This green X here indicates that the indicator is signaling that that is your first trick take profit point. So let me put this right at the base. Most people probably got in a little earlier on that candle. It doesn't matter. There's no need to enter early. As you can see, most of these trades, you're going to get enough points. So the initial, uh, the initial uh, take profit was right here by this green X, which was 34.75 points, 35 points first target, okay? So for every contract, any every micro contract you traded, that's a $70 profit. Most of our uh, traders trade anywhere from one to five micros. So keep that in mind. So that was the first target. The second target, what happens is the market comes down and at that point, it, it, it doesn't reverse greatly. It mostly consolidates, which means goes sideways. But you can see right here, it actually touches our baseline and is rejected off. Then it does a little bit more uh, consolidation, goes back and kisses that line again. And then it gets a pretty hard rejection off of there and goes almost straight down. So you'll see here, this was our first take profit. There's a secondary, a third, and a fourth take profit on this. So the second take profit was down here. That's 66 points. The third take profit was right here. That's 100 points. And then if you had the kahunas to stay in the trade, the last take profit was 163 points. And it actually got even more than that, depending on where. So... Nice, nice pre-market trade there. Uh, nice to come out of the gates with a really nice trade with very little pressure on you and uh, start the day with a, with a little cushion, okay? So now the market opens at 8.30. That should say 8.30, not 8 a.m. The market opens here and just, uh, I think it's 20 minutes later, we get our first uh, market hours trade. Right here at 8.50, we get a buy signal trigger, okay? And this trade was a little different than a lot we've been seeing lately. We actually got some drawdown. So let me uh, get the trade tool out and we'll go a uh, long position on this one. So depending on where you entered, I usually, for the sake of the video, say most people, you don't know where on this candle they're going to enter. So I just assume it's the middle I, for the sake of... Um, for illustration, it could be higher, a little bit higher, could be a little bit lower. And then here again, remember, we put our um, stop loss at the edge of the colored band. And 50 points is our, initial, is our first stop loss. Where are you? Come here. And 50 points is right there. And so you can see we easily made that and made that fairly quickly even though our suggested take profit is up here at 80 points, okay? And the, 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 the trade actually goes 60 to 90 points, depending on where you got in and de depending on where you decided to exit. But you'll see here, let me just spread this out a little bit wider. You'll see here, we get the entry candle. I'm going to delete that simply because it just gets in the way when I go over it. I want to I want to illustrate something. So this was our first candle, the five minute entry candle. You'll see what happens. And we don't know the exact price moving on this candle, but you can see it goes up, but it also goes down. 
Now you can see here is the edge. So that's our, our stop loss is way down there. You'll see that it never ever gets to that, uh, to the edge of that cloud. So we had, let me just measure that out to give you an idea of, of what kind of, uh, whoops, must have clicked something over here. Uh, let's just see from the bottom of that to there, that's 20, no, 17 points. So that candle actually dips 17 points below the lowest point of that candle. But here again, we were, let's see, put this on the edge. We were 10 points from ever being stopped out. And so that candle prints, the next candle reverses and goes in our direction in just 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes later, we're up 90 points, okay? Now, this trade actually goes on to make more. However, I don't think anybody would have stayed in that particular trade once they got the 90 points because look what happens. This thing pulls back, consolidates, and then takes another run up. But here again, you know, hindsight, you can say, oh, yeah, I would have got everything. But the reality is I can't see anybody holding past this point. Now, perhaps someone re-entered here even though we didn't get a signal. I, I can't tell you that. And then the final trade of the day, not a huge trade, but it was, you know, they all add up. And so this was a short that triggered at 12.50, 10 minutes, no, 12.50 in the afternoon, rather, and went for, here's the cell, uh, 43 points. So, I mean, not a huge trade here. Again, no drawdown. It never actually went against us, even though we did have some candles that closed uh, green right here, this one. It never, it only went down about three quarters of that candle. So we remained in profit the whole time. It just wasn't a huge, no continuation to the downside like we normally get. But who cares when you can close a trade in 20 minutes with a 40 point profit, you know, with no real stress on you. You know, after this candle closed, it was all right to, to the target number one. And then we basically had consolidation uh, for the remainder of the day. That trade we got out, for instance, that's um, one ten in the afternoon. And then so for two hours, this market was range bound in that area, you know, and that that's just to give you an idea. Well, it is 50 points. It's a little deceiving, but, you know, 20 points on either side almost impossible to trade that kind of price action. Candle candle down, candle up, doji, doji, down, down, back up. Little, you know, it, 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 those are the kind of, um, of trades that chop you up. So there you go. Three trades, okay, depending on what you, let's just go with the minimum. So you'd picked up 35 points there, 60 points there, that's 95. And let's just say you picked up 30 on that one. So that would be 125 point day times $2 uh, for each contract. That would have been $250 you would have made for each micro contract you traded. And minimum, I'm, I'm, I, I should say, being very generous as far as the minimum amount you trade, okay? You can see here, obviously, if you held, you know, to, to future so say the maximum, 170, 90, that'd be 260 plus 40, that's 300 points potential times $2, that's a $600 day per contract. But here again, it's a little unrealistic to assume anybody's going to get in at the exact right time and hold it to the exact right time. So, okay, that's the video for today. I will be back tomorrow and I've got some, hopefully some exciting things this week. I've got to take my daughter to college this week. And so that's going to take me, uh, take a lot of my time. I'm going to be down at uh, the destination of her school for three days. I'm hoping to to trade and to, to uh, uh, make some videos in the mornings, possibly later in the afternoon. So I will have the content out, but I won't be around all day. So have a great rest of your weekend. And if you're still interested in purchasing this AccuTrader.net system, I highly encourage it. Uh, but you've got two days to get in on the current pre-sale price, and then I've got to increase the price. So if you liked the, my videos, please 
Hit the like button below and subscribe if you would. Really appreciate it. You have a great day. Bye now.